Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Rafaela. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs and more. So if you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. And on today's video, we are going to do a somewhat film club or series club where I just tell you some of the shows I've been really loving at the moment and you can watch them on Netflix. This month is April. Today is Wednesday, 14th of April which means tomorrow I turn 23 and I am not ready, not at all. I just thought this would be a nice idea of something to do every single month or every two months. If you're interested on watching that and if you'd like that, please let me know on the comments. And for this month, even though it's the middle of the month, let's just pretend it's the beginning or the end. So I have my phone right here and I'm just going to tell you some of the shows or films. I think it's mainly shows this month that are on my list right now. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to start very light, even though it's, it's not like completely light, but this is the Genie and Georgia. It's about, oh, this is about mother Georgia and the daughter Genie. They moved to a new city and there's just a lot going on there and Jeannie is 15, her mother is 30, she had Jeannie when she was 15 and you can see a lot of the teenage annoying part and she's the type of woman, she does everything for her, her children but she, some of the time she doesn't make the best choices and Jeannie, no, Georgia is the mother, Jeannie um, it's just, she is at that age. This is drama, this is comedy, it's youth series, a coming of age series and yeah. But there's a lot going on in this series and it's a very easy watch type of, again, series. I just said series like 300 times, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to say <laughs> 500 more. Moving on, I just love like true story, crime, mystery, movie, series, everything. I think I got this from my mom. She used to love true crime, all of that. The next series is called The Serpent. This is a, a true crime story about the man called Charles Sobraj. I am Suraj. I, I don't know if I'm saying the name right, probably not. Um, he was a serial killer and also a gem dealer and con man in the 70s and there's just so much going on in the series and it's just so amazing and just so interesting, not amazing because it's just it's not about something good but it's very very interesting and I just find it fascinating how the mind of these type of people work and it's just so interesting honestly if I can recommend you something to watch and you like this genre please watch this you will not regret choosing or spending your time watching this next we have the irregulars I don't know about you but I grew up reading these very old books and also watching on TV the thing called the it's like a Portuguese show but it's just a group of friends that go on adventures and they solve crimes and mysteries and there is this series this is a new series from Netflix it's called the irregulars and it's just that but it just mixes a little bit of super, supernatural and it all happens in the Victorian England I think uh, somewhere in that period and it also mixes with teen romance and it's just so interesting honestly I really oh and obviously they solve crimes and mysteries and there's also Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson in the middle there so if you like teen series if you like adventure crime solving, like mystery, supernatural, just watch it. <laughs> and, and maybe I shouldn't do these type of videos because I just... How can I talk about a series without spoiling it? I do not know. 
because I'm very scared of spoiling it and I hope I haven't done so yet but maybe I have okay so this sound it's my cat licking herself very close to the camera but she just looks so cute on the window so I'm just going to let her and I'm sorry about the noise next you have to watch Alice in Borderland this is a Japanese series I think it's based on a manga 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 I really don't know how to pronounce that um, or maybe over I don't think it's an anime but it's some something like that and it's just um, again mystery I really like mysteries there is a group of friends they one day just suddenly everyone is gone and they have to start doing these games and it's a real life or death type of games if you lose you're gone you have like these puzzles and you have to solve or not you but he like the main character has to solve them in order to survive and they also try to understand what happened and I just hope they make a second season because I just loved it I watched it I ate that series up like so fast it's It's not even normal, um, but I do that when I really like a series and I just love this one. Next on today's list is the Firefly Lane. This is a drama series, or but it, it's also very fun, kind of. I, I had a lot of fun watching it because there is a lot of funny parts. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, this is about um, two friends, two best, best friends. They have been best friends for 30 years and it goes back a lot throughout the series when, back when they were 14 and they started this very strong friendship and then when they are 44, 43 in 2003 and there's a lot of grown up stuff going on it's very interesting because you see a friendship between two very different people and you see how different their lives turn out to be I've seen that series popping up on my Netflix main page a lot but I, I just wasn't feeling it because I just thought it would be very like just another sitcom adult um, stuff just another sitcom about grown-ups doing like middle-aged friends I don't know but friends, I don't know. and there's nothing wrong with that but I just since I'm in my early 20s I just don't relate with those series a lot of the time so that's why um, I really enjoy watching those series but I just I, I just wanted to watch something a little bit more intense and more I don't know interesting and I just was so surprised with the series it's very interesting and again I just watched it like that because it's just pulls you in and I couldn't stop watching it it was so interesting I went to bed at 4 a.m. just to finish watching it and I just hope there's a second season I don't think it was approved yet um, when I was searching about it um, but I really hope it does okay and yeah this is today's list I've been watching a lot more crime true crime series too on Netflix but I just I didn't love them so much that I wanted to share them with you but if you're interested I can do like a whole video talking about true crime stories on Netflix you, uh, that you should watch if you like that genre I don't know if I'm saying genre right if I'm not I'm, I'm just going to have a lot of trouble with this video but yeah okay so I hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one uh, like it if you enjoyed watching it I don't know why I'm dancing 
and I'll see you very very soon on my next one.